June 6th through August 30th, 1944. At dawn on June 6th, Operation Overlord launches and nearly 7,000 U.S. British ships and craft carrying close to 160,000 troops lay off the Normandy, France beaches. This surprises German commanders who had overestimated the adverse weather's impact and were also expecting landings to the northeast in the Pas de Calais area. Following assembly and the 24-hour delay, the invasion fleet proceeds across the English Channel along five lanes cleared by minesweepers toward the French coast. The waters off of the U.S., Utah, Omaha, and British Canadian Gold Juno Sword landing beaches are divided into transport offloading areas, fire support channels and areas, and lanes for assault craft. Cruisers and battleships bombard enemy coastal fortifications and strong points, followed by tactical airstrikes. In each of the initial attack waves, landing craft tanks carry specially configured amphibious tanks that serve as immediate infantry fire support once ashore. Patrol boats serve as control vessels off of each beach. Destroyers and other small combatants stand by to provide gunfire support, and landing craft are loaded and proceed from their line to departure toward the beaches. By the end of August, more than 2 million Allied troops are in France. In this stretch of invasion, between 515,000 and 757,000 soldiers combined are killed, and between 25,000 to 39,000 civilians are killed. 